Hey gang, this is Grandpa again, and I'm uh, going to do a little demo today of a modeling example, hopefully to help or give my viewpoint of the question that Booty Monster asked about extending the length of a, his Vector 4000 out to a full wavelength. What I've done is I've taken my Sigma 4 model that I published, 52711, and uh, I uh, added uh, 100 and something inches to it. It's 28.6 long, and I made it 36 foot long. And I uh, generated a, by clicking on this button right here, I generated a plot, a pattern plot for that antenna with it extended out in length. Uh, as a, as an overlay, and then I uh, went back to my default uh, model, which is the Sigma four. You see it right here, Sigma four five o five twenty seven eleven, and that's the model that I got shown right now. And I maneuvered the uh, plot, the the trace that I took to overlay the regular model of the uh, Sigma 4, my Sigma 4. Uh, again, this is not a vector, but they're close enough it ought to be similar. Here's a full screen view of this. and uh, Here's what I'm going to show you. The blue is the uh, one wavelength long Sigma, and the black is the uh, Sigma uh, default uh, that, that I published. Now I'm going to show you what Shockwave has told us here that uh, about this uh, uh, one wing one wavelength idea of producing a lobe that pokes out there uh, uh, is, is the maximum and it's at around 45 degrees and if you'll follow this cursor that I'm pointing to right here, this little blue clue, blue cursor, I've got it on the 45 degree line and sure enough we see that's exactly what happens to the uh, to the uh, Sigma 4 model whenever I extend that length out. So Booty Monster, I don't think it's a good idea. And and even worse, if you follow this pattern all the way down here to the horizon, you'll see that you lost from here, which is the maximum for my, my published uh, Sigma 4, uh, all the way back here for the uh, one, wing, one wavelength long one. So you lost a We've lost a lot of gain at the horizon, and it's uh, poked everything up higher. Look, look at uh, this one up here. fact is, the maximum gain for this antenna may well be up here. I can't, uh, I can't uh, move the cursor up there, so I, I don't know. But at, at about 70 degrees, you can see it's uh, pretty strong. So everything is just kind of pushed up when you make it longer like that. So I don't, I don't think, uh, Booty Monster, you're going to have any luck uh, making that thing a wavelength long. So <clears throat> I didn't go through all the details how I did it, but basically what I did is I, let me click on this uh, line right here, line 10, and I'm going to blow this wire screen up a little bit. Line 10. Wire 10, rather, is the uh, top element, which you saw on the, the uh, image of the Sigma 4. And right here is uh, a number, which is the end of the, the, the X value for the, uh, I mean Z value for the uh, tip of the antenna. And the, uh, it starts at uh, 787 inches above Earth. And it stops at 838.8 feet above Earth. And all I did is added about a 100 inches or so to this, enough to make it 36 feet long from this wire all the way up to this wire. That's that's what all the wires in that in that tapered uh, radiator. And I just made it longer. And now I. Uh, 
clicked on the F uh, uh, four field plot here and I generated this pattern over here and like I told you I developed a trace for it and then I went back to my regular model which we're looking at right now and I uh, superimpose that one wavelength the version over the uh, over the uh, model that you're uh, uh, that is my default model okay buddy I don't uh, hopefully I'll give you some clues that's about it for right now and so I'm gonna have to uh, see if I can find my uh, a screen here and uh, we'll catch you later I've uh, done I think hopefully I said everything that I needed to say and it was understandable okay we'll catch you later this is grandpa Corpus Christi broadcasting live and in color on your two-way we'll see you